Hello guys, welcome back to another Minecraft medieval tutorial. This time we're going to build a stone based medieval house. Uh, the last medieval tutorial got quite a lot of views in the first two days. Of course, that's just my opinion. Um, this time we're going to work on something a little bit different but on the same style. Yeah. So first you need a good stone gradient and um, I hate cobblestone um, if you didn't know that. So we'll stick with stone, cracked stone bricks, gravel and tough. I love tough. It's, it's my favorite block in the new Minecraft. And for the support, for the support we're gonna use spruce logs and along with its spruce wood plank counterparts um and then for the top part uh not the top part the second story we're going to use snow um concrete powder and you get wool of course, the wool won't look as good in vanilla Minecraft, but I'll just show you the, the texture pack I have. WBC builds V1.3.2.1 uh, for its... This one's the bedrock version, so you have to go and join the WBC builds Discord server to get this. So let's not talk about that too much. And for the roof, we're going to stick with deep slate as last time. We're going to use deep slate tile stairs, deep slate stairs, cobbled deep slate stairs, um, polished deep slate stairs, and deep slate brick stairs. Maybe we're not... Actually, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Let's go start. And... This one is actually going to be diagonal, so yeah, if you don't like building diagonal things, then this is not a tutorial for you. Let's start. We're going to use marking blocks as that that will be, yeah, this the marking blocks are actually essential in diagonal buildings. This is our diagonal outline. We will do this also on here. One, two, three, four, five. Go. Yeah, let's just destroy this tree. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. There. Now we have one side of the base. Let's do the others. One two three four five now we'll start from this side one two three four five and then i just saw that this doesn't make any sense so we'll redo that uh where was i one two three four five so this was wrong lucky that i found that out early uh, where were we here so one two three four five um now one two three four five yeah this is actually pretty perfect more perfect than i thought it would be on the first try so let's replace this let's extend the pillars up a bit the pillars will be five blocks tall two three four five actually i think four blocks may just do it we'll go ahead and line all the pillars up all the pillars are lined up we'll work on the base which is should be made out of stone the base material this time will be cracked stone bricks as well, it is actual bricks. So we'll just build the, all the stone bricks around. Okay, so now we got the base 
six, we'll add paint, just like on a canvas. We're not finished yet. We'll add gravel next. Don't add too much gravel since it doesn't look too good. It just helps modelizing the entire feeling. And then add tough. Oh no. Yeah, you can add a bit more tough if you want because tough looks obviously looks much more better than gravel in my in my opinion at least. You see this side's all starting to come together. Now what you need to do is paste this all over on all sides. Okay, so now you can see that the block palette has brought everything together. We got all the foundations ready. We will add some little features to it. So what I mean by that is grab yourself some Actually, we don't have stone, so we'll just use andesite for the purpose. Add little things like this. This may not look like much, but it will do a lot. We'll just add that around on all sides to make it not look empty, because emptiness will just ruin your build like you would not believe. Now, let's use the spruce stairs as we've been talking about um quite a few minutes ago from now and just add them up like this around the pillars use spruce wood slabs and just make a circle around everything we've got all of this done let's place the pillars of the next level you've got to be careful doing this on a diagonal build because if you do it wrong, then you have to do stuff over again. This wouldn't be a too much problem if you do it a lot. But after you've done that, just... Um, yeah, it's basically like a normal medieval build on the second level. But just twist it a bit, you know? And... Adding and a bit more detailed because what I like about diagonal in Minecraft is even though it's just normal building on an angle, but it actually makes it look more interesting. Like it makes it looks like that it's got more details when it's just the same thing. That's why I like block art so much. We'll stack this up four blocks, and if you want, five. We'll do that on all pillars. You've got this done. It looks quite plain right now and really, really grand, but also weird. We we'll need to add the, the planks. For the planks, the base will use white wool. For modifying it, we will use snow first because... Oh, it's calcite. Use calcite to mod modify it just like the bottom layer there. Use white concrete powder. I will break down the windows. Uh, for the windows, we will be using iron bars. <clears throat> and for this there, we will just do this to make it look normal. And then do this around to this one. And just, yeah, like, choose your own windows. Now we've got all of these built, as you can see here. We will build the roof, or what's the base of the roof, at least. We will be using spruce wood stairs, and just place them like this. They can't be perfect to one direction, so you can choose whatever direction here as you want. Yeah, so I'm just choosing a spiral going direction like that. Now, after, for all of these, the white, for all of the white places, you'll be placing this as the same direction of where that's going. And when it comes to this odd thing, just, yeah, like, do it like this. And if you still don't feel good about it, get spruce trapdoors and cover these up. 
like just like that now we're gonna move on to the frame of the roof the frame of the roof will be dark oak wood black dark oak wood stairs the frame will be pretty a bit a bit harder than all the other stairs all the other steps so all you need to do is just follow this line of diagon if that may not make any sense at all but dark oak wood planks and now let's just do a normal roof outline but curved this is what it should look like so it may look like very odd for now but this is just sometimes how diagonal buildings go um it will come start to come together at the end now we need to just start filling out the roof the base of the roof this time will be deep slate tile stairs um for this time you, you just need to follow the most outer diagonal line for right now we'll this will be the most outer diagonal line just like this and for this side you won't be doing it because that's where like you know the walls will be that that will be just the triangular arch you won't need to worry about the roof of that let's just move on to the next level and just the same thing but what you need to watch out here is it will look hollow if you don't fill that out you will have to be going along and doing this all the time but diagonal buildings sometimes are just really fiddly and frustrating i guess if you don't want that then just don't build diagonally but what this also helps is now you don't have to use scaffolding blocks to do it like that you can just place it on top of like yeah we'll be doing this throughout the whole thing comes to that you'll be doing it like this fill this all out so when it comes to the final layer of the roof <clears throat> there may be a few bits of bugs like this because normally you will be going like this to finish off the roof but you see there's a gap here and if you want to be lazy and just ignore it you can just do that it wouldn't look too bad but if you want to be perfect you will be re redoing all of this there i know there will be a lot of lazy people out there you don't have to do this but this will be really really fiddly if you want to do this i'll just leave that for another for another day probably not because i'm lazy just because we don't have the time in this episode just finish this off and now you've got the base of the roof you will be doing the last few modifications on the roof so for the pointy little top of the a-shaped frame you'll be using polished deep slate walls and making a two blocks high pillar getting iron bars this won't look too bad in vanilla but i do recommend you downloading this mod pack and then place iron trapdoors like this uh to connect them we'll be just we'll just be sneaky and just place one there because diagonal buildings will never be perfect never so just keep in mind that if you want to build something perfect like perfectly like 10 blocks wide 10 blocks cross um you won't be doing that in diagonal because you can't yeah this would be the top of your thing 
and if you want to spice it up then add this on all of the edges block edges now you've got it and then we'll be working to fill this in final finishing touches you do it like that and to hide this mess this mess um, if you want to do a small layer of blocks you just hide it like that perfectly fine now get the mixture we had before and finish this with it's basically pretty simple not much to explain here and you come out of there <coughs> and modify it Ooh. oops that can't be placed after you finish this side do the same on the other side Now, <clears throat> this is very close, very, very close to being done. You just add some hinges around the place. For now, I'll, I'll suggest moss blocks because they're also a very amazing block. And just bone mill it around. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Yeah. This is all finished. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.